Hello, and welcome to a fanfare episode of the Drywall Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Harmon. With us today, Elise Chu from Shadiac, New Brunswick, Canada. Elise is fairly new to the trade and spent some time working renovation with her wife at their company, Spec3 Renovation. That's when she found herself maybe interested in drywall finishing and enough interested to get a job as an apprentice. The pandemic hit and we were sitting at home and I was watching more videos and uh, an opportunity came up to be an apprentice at a drywall company, a local drywall company. And so I applied, didn't hear anything from them for like a month and a half and was like, oh, well, guess that's not happening. And yeah. then I heard from them and was like, got an interview, went in, chatted with them and got the job. So, and I've been with them full time uh, since. So I had a fantastic time chatting with Elise and I know you are going to enjoy this episode. The Drywall Podcast was brought to you in the month of July by... GWI supplying the UK with drywall finishing products since 2021, delivering quality brands nationwide. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, or online at www.gwiltd.com for all of your finishing needs. GWI will be hosting yours truly for a special Fresco Harmony training happening September 15th on a beautiful Friday in Swindon, England at their headquarters. You can email me info at Fresco Harmony for more questions about that. Guests of the Drywall Podcast, like Elise, will receive a sweet swag bucket from our friends at CSR in Toronto full of all kinds of cool swag specifically for drywall including a fresco harmony color packs a tech dry tool a three-way a spy spun shirt swag all kinds of cool stuff be on the lookout for that if you happened to be one of our awesome guests on the podcast i'm excited for you to hear this podcast with elise on the 60th episode of the drywall podcast let's get into it hey what's up elise how are you i'm good how are you good you a big denver broncos fan yeah um by marriage so my my wife is a huge denver broncos fan like all her life was on the waiting season's tickets waiting list for years and years and years yeah and then um, i think it was last year she finally made it to the top of the list. And so now we have season's tickets. So we, we go down to Denver once a year, at least. So starting last you, year. <laughs> you have season tickets and you go to one game a year? Well, we would like to go to more games, but at the moment it's uh, not always feasible. So this year uh, we're, we try and go to the home opener for sure. And then, and then we see which games will work. Last year we went to two games. The first two like home games were back to back. All right. So, what yeah. do you do with the what do you do with your tickets? You sell them? Uh, she sells them. Yeah, yeah. I think she you can resell them on Ticketmaster or whatever, and then she uh, you can sometimes give them away to charity and stuff. So she does that. Oh, neat. Yeah. And what does your wife do? Uh, right now she's working on a tech startup called the Project Garage. So oh, nice. She's an entrepreneur. Yeah. 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 So, Excellent. It's called the yeah. Tech What? No, it's called the Project Garage. Project Garage. What yeah, is it's it? To connect, it's to connect uh, DI wires with vetted tradespeople uh, to get virtual virtual help with their uh, projects. Interesting. Very cool. How yeah. long has she been working on that? Um, about a year and a half now. Okay. So they're right. they're getting ready to launch um their site in soon august so okay right now they're working on there's a developer working on it and stuff and she's uh crazy 
What's yeah, her background? Busy networking and connecting with people. Uh, her background is uh, policing. Policing. She's a police woman. She was a police officer, and uh, and then she and I both went into like uh, Renaults and stuff. Okay. So we did that for a bit, and then um, now she's doing entrepreneurship and tech startup she's done a whole whack of things so yeah i just learned on the last podcast we had jeff schultz out of uh powell river um uh british columbia super cool dude um that they don't call it remodel up there they call it renovation is that true yeah so yeah yeah right. we were right. like we have a company and we would do renos and remodels so that was that the name of the company no, no our company is called spec three properties spec three properties and yeah. you are out of uh i am out of shediac new brunswick how do you spell that <laughs> s-h-e-d-i-a-c shediac new brunswick yeah, yeah. neat home of uh -huh. the giant lobster Oh, so you have some yummy lobsters up there. I'm oh, I yeah, wanna come. Yeah. Yeah, are you above come are you above Maine? Yes, we're like we border Maine, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cold. Chilly. Uh in the winter, yes. Right now, hot, <laughs> humid. Right now, yeah, it's probably nice up there right now. It's no. been like 35, 39 degrees with oh. the like humidex. So it's been super now? like moist. It's been, yeah. It's been chilly? No, hot, like hot. Uh, degrees Celsius. Sorry. Degrees Celsius. Okay. I don't know what not, it is in Fahrenheit. Yeah. Not not Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. There, we, <laughs> no, were, no. we were going through that a little bit when I was up there. Speed too, you know, kilometers versus miles. Yeah. yeah. Subtle, di subtle differences to our friends to the north. And hopefully like the Drywall Podcast is illuminating like the fact that we do have neighbors to the north. It's, <laughs> ca it's called Canada. <laughs> And they're pretty great. <laughs> um, you had a lot of Canadians on your uh, on your podcast there. Yeah, uh, I mean, I just kind of I'm an artist by nature. I uh, I I I have a very fluid um, method in which I do things, and the podcast is no different. Like I don't have a list of questions. I do. I am writing things down, and I have ideas. You know, but. I want for the conversation to be very fresh. Special thanks to Elise for being with us on the Drywall Podcast today. I appreciate your time and your knowledge. Be on the lookout for a training session with yours truly happening in Swindon, England, Friday, September 15th. I believe you have to register, but if you need information on that, you can email me at info at frescoharmony.com and I will get you information. The Drywall Podcast can be listened to on your favorite platforms such as Podbean, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and also YouTube. Tune in every single Friday for a new awesome episode featuring your favorite drywall influencers and drywall people from the internet and beyond. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Drywall Podcast. I really, really, really appreciate it. And remember, keep drywalling. <laughs>